Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Daily Shooter, and today I'm coming to you with breaking California gun news. The OEL, or Office of Administrative Law, just rejected the new proposed assault weapons ban regulations that were submitted by the Department of Justice and the Attorney General's Office. Now, you might remember that just a few months ago, those proposed assault weapons ban regulations were actually withdrawn from the OEL uh, by the DOJ and the, the Attorney General's Office because there was a little bit of a switch up. Originally, the regulations were submitted by Kamala Harris. She won a Senate seat, and so she left her post here. That was replaced by uh, Javier Viceris, and he ended up taking those regulations that had already been submitted and withdrawing those, rewriting them, just changing a little bit of the verbiage, nothing really changed that was major, and then he resubmitted those to the OAL. The OAL's job is to look over it, say that everything looks legit, everything looks legal, and then either approve or deny it. Well, they rejected it now. So here's what that means. Does it mean that you know the assault weapons ban is not gonna take place? No, it's, it's still gonna take place. We're still gonna have to deal with these laws. What it means is that what they did was not right in some way. Now, there's several reasons why, why something would be rejected. One of the reasons could be is that it actually created new laws in the regulation. The regulation to the existing law cannot create new laws. And if it does create a new law and there will be some type of pushback and they know that legally they can't enforce it, then the OAL can reject it because you have law and then you have regulations that surround that law. You can't create the new law. They can reject that, tell them, hey, change this. Okay, give them some advice and they can change it. Uh, the other thing could be that it's just not enforceable. Uh, if it's not enforceable legally and they know that, you know, under this particular verbiage, the way that you wrote it and the way that it's, it's shown here, it's not enforceable. They can then reject it and the Department of Justice, the Attorney General's office is going to have to rewrite it and resubmit it, which is what's going to happen. Okay, they're going to rewrite and resubmit the regulations to OAL until they get their approval. Now, here's the thing. This whole thing is centered around registration. They want Californians to register their AR-15s as assault weapons, not even just AR-15s. You can have a, a high point 995 uh, pistol caliber carbine, but because it has a pistol grip, it, it's now considered an assault weapon. They want you to register that. They want you to separate yourself from the pact, basically, and say that I'm not just a long gun owner, I'm a, an assault weapons owner. So that's what's going on here. Now the regulations were, were a bunch of BS to begin with, and it shows you that these people's heads are screwed on backwards. Some of them have them so clean and clear up their ass, they probably couldn't even exactly see what they were writing, so it's no, uh, no big shock that it was rejected. But they want you to take photos. They want you to leave the bullet button on. They want you to leave this. You can't change it from the original way that it was when you took the picture. And before you take the picture, you have to make it bullet button. But bullet button rifles are currently not legal. And there's all sorts of crap that was going on in those proposed regulations. So what I think they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to simplify it, streamline it, and then resubmit it. So here's what this could mean to some people, okay? When the, the last assault weapons uh, ban regulations were imposed and people were looking at some of the definitions like myself at what what defines a pistol grip what defines a fixed stock you know what defines an assault weapon those things might change and so we have to watch out for those things because the whole system of breaking open the upper and lower receiver technically that could change because that was a regulation that was part of the regulations that would separate an assault weapon from what was considered a long rifle excuse me it's about 130 degrees in in the garage right now but those regulations could change, so we are gonna have to keep an eye out for it. Now here's the problem, since it revolves around registration and the regulations are supposed to show people that wanna register how to do so, and they have to do so by the end of the year, they're now cutting that timeline almost completely off. Almost completely off because what's gonna happen is by the time they resubmit regulations again and those regulations are looked over by the OAL and then either approved or denied, the amount of time that people have left at that point to actually go through the process of registering, it could it could turn a lot of people into felons, I'll tell you that. Or maybe not even felons, but it could turn a lot of people into criminals. So this is, this is something that we want to watch closely. And we're going to watch and we're going to see what happens when the new regulations come down. And we will try and compare the new regulations to the old regulations and see what the differences are. Now, I want to thank everybody very much for watching these California videos. I got to be honest with you, are not a lot of fun to do. They are just getting a little bit even too heavy for me. It's just, it's kind of weighing down on me. But I thank you very much for your support. If you want to help support the channel further, I do have shirts that are now available uh, that does have the large Daily Shooter logo on the back. I also have one with the middle finger that says register this. 
and uh, kind of speaks to us here in California. So if you want to support the channel, get one of these t-shirts. It'll help do that. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.